Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of a new beginning in love. This is someone, you know, expressing emotion or extending some sort of romantic offer here. But there's this feeling of a lot of feelings overflowing. You know, there's this feeling of a romantic beginning here. So let's see. Okay, we have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, the Four of Cups, Water Energy. And we have the King of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so there's a feeling here of someone who is viewing you as someone they want to have a new beginning with. But the King of Wands, they could be um, pursuing you, approaching you. This is someone who is uh, quite uh, confident. This is someone who's quite charming and passionate. And they are quite used to getting what they want. So this can be someone who's very attractive. There's something about them that's just very confident with that King of Wands energy. And um, so there's this feeling of pursuing. Um, you know, really giving it their all here. But with the king energy, it's like they are, this time around, they're pursuing you with a more more mature energy. You know, they're still passionate. They still have that vision, but they, they're not going to be impulsive about it. This is something they've thought through. And with the higher fans, if you have history with this person, they've learned from that history. You know, there's this feeling of a spiritual lesson with the higher fans. And there's this feeling of wanting to be loyal to you, wanting to commit to you, wanting to have a higher level of commitment with you. This person, they could have actually let you down at some points in the past because that Four of Cups, it's like you're... There's almost this feeling of, I've heard it all before with that Four of Cups, like you're bored. You, you, you want this person to prove themselves. You're not going to make it easy for them. You may even be uninterested. You know, there's this feeling of... In the past, this person may have acted immaturely, but it's like they're coming around you with a, a more, it's like it's still them, but it's a more evolved energy. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. Okay, we have the seven of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries your energy so this person is going to be quite persistent persevering they want to fight for this they feel like they will have to fight for this there's definitely a feeling of you having a bit of a, a wall up and they have to really kind of prove themselves and they they're ready and willing to do that they're up for the challenge of that okay so let's see okay we have the four of wands fire energy page of swords air energy and the Six of Swords, Air Energy. So this person is definitely um, wanting to move forward with you. They want to progress this connection into karma waters. They want to heal the connection. They want to be on good terms with you. They want a peaceful outcome here. And with the Four of Wands and the higher fans, they actually view you as someone they want to marry. They see you as marriage material, commitment material. They're seeing all of this with you. They may even want to move in together or have a family. There's that kind of energy. You may be just curious about this person with the Page of Swords. You may be curious if they are actually, you know, it's like you're going to let this person prove themselves. But with the Page of Swords, even though on the outside you're looking and interested with that Four of Cups on the Page of Swords, there's a little bit of curiosity on your side. There's this feeling of being kind of interested um, just to see, yeah, there's a more of a curious energy, but this person has a more intense energy here. They, they are dead serious about committing to you. So I'm going to plot an Oracle card for you, Scorpio. you and your loved ones are safe 
new moon in cancer okay so there's love here this is someone who you could have again it's like past energy this is someone who you know they had your heart there was that emotional connection and it may still be there it's definitely there on their side okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so your feelings may not be matching this person's feelings anymore it's like this person is so ready to commit to you but with that four of cups it's like you may be a little bit less in love with them um you, you know there's this feeling of not being all in it's more like you're motivated by curiosity at this point okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you Okay, so we have cheerfulness it is spring again the earth is like a child that knows poems by heart so this person could be nostalgic when it comes to you they reminisce on the good times they shared with you and they want to kind of recapture that they want to revive that okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice for you Okay, we have surrender fear let go of the fearful stories you were telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward okay so that's what i'm seeing for you scorpio i hope you have a really really good day scorpio bye scorpio